Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen on this beautiful Monday. Oh, y'all, this weather is so nice, and it's a little chilly outside, but that's okay. Um, it just makes it easy for us to get out and about, and so we rush and carry on. I hope that all of you have done your food shopping for Thanksgiving. Um, supplies sometimes are very limited, so if you haven't, you better get out there and get busy. And I hope you've got your mind set on what you're going to make and what you're going to serve or what you're going to take wherever you're going. Today, we are going to be making pecan tassies. Now, y'all, this is just a great recipe. And um, they're a little small pecan, I, I don't call them, just a little more than a bite. And they are just perfect for pickup food. Nothing you got to slice, nothing you got to do anything special about. So if you've got my cookbook, turn to page 100. And y'all, this recipe can be doubled. Now this particular, the way it is, it makes 24. And so, but it's this size pan. So we're gonna get right to it. So the first thing that you make is the crust because this is like in two steps. All right, so, oh, and y'all, I can tell this recipe is old because it calls for a three ounce package of cream cheese. I don't know when I've seen a three ounce package <laughs> of cream cheese, but thank goodness the eight ounce package was scored across the wrapper. So each ounce had a line on it. So I cut three, mm -hmm. three ounces. All right, and oh my goodness, a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. And y'all, I use salted butter. I did have that question, and I just, unless I say different, it's always salted butter. So let's get that in there. All right, so we're going to mix these two together, and we'll be right back. Okay, I let both of those be softened, and enough, you know, so that you can work with them well. So what we're going to do, we just go get these blended together. Y'all, this, this really is a little bit sticky. All right, one cup of all-purpose flour. All right, let's put that in there. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I am gonna measure this today. Okay, one fourth teaspoon. So, I'm going to mix this up, and KK, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, that was just kind of crumbly. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to squeeze this all together. This kind of gets messy. About the only way to do it is your hand. Now, y'all, I used a fork. You know me. I've been cooking a long time. I started cooking a long time before anything fancy came along <laughs> that you could use. But I'm sure they are all kind of little utensils that you can use to cut that stuff together. But that's okay. Nothing beats a fork and nothing beats your hands. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to get this in a bowl. Okay, y'all. This is super sticky. As you can see, my hands and... um. I just want to let you know so you'll know you're doing it right. So you end up with, with kind of messy hands, but that's okay. All right, see, we've got that in, in a bowl now. So we're going to put that in another bowl. Now, we're going to put that in the refrigerator and just let it chill just a little bit to get those um, ingredients stuck back together so we can work with it to put it in our little pan. And... Um, the recipe calls for an hour, but I'm going to tell you, 30 minutes is long enough. If you leave it in there an hour, sometimes it gets so, um, I guess, tough that you can't pick it off and make your little balls. And so I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, um, I've got this out of the refrigerator now. And I just wanted to show you about the size. I went ahead and rolled them so you didn't have to sit there and watch me roll this dough. So this is about the size that you'll need. Is that a walnut? 
that's not quite as big as a walnut. Okay. Probably maybe like a hickory nut. But anyway, I don't know what, that is. what you do, you do not <laughs> grease your pan. All right. And see, you want that soft enough so that you can work with it. And what you do, I've already done one pan. And you just kind of press it out like that. Just so it fills the sides of the pan. All right, let's just go. And you don't grease it. You do not grease it. Okay. You do not. Okay. Y'all, that's a little tricky dividing that thing into 24 pieces <laughs> because it's, it's going to make 24. So just do that before you do anything else. Just go ahead and then just take your finger. Don't leave a hole in the bottom now. Mm -hmm. And just kind of spread it out. Now, while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and set my oven. You set your oven on 325 degrees. Oh, that's be start, okay? Mm. All right. All right, we'll be right back. I'm going to do these, and then we're going to make our filling. Okay, y'all, we're going to make our filling. So it calls for one egg, and I do use the extra large Eggland's Best. Mm -hmm. Three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, which I've already... Measured here. A tablespoon of soft butter. And y'all, you know, we just gonna guesstimate this. Put plenty of butter in it. Okay, <laughs> we like the butter. Uh, all mixed in there. Okay, y'all, it calls for a dash of salt. That's a dash. And it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. Don't you think that's a teaspoon? Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you just keep mixing this. My butter should have been a little bit softer, but that's okay. We'll, we're going to make it work. Now, it calls for two-thirds of a cup of chopped pecans. So, but you put only put half of it in your mixture. And then we're going to sprinkle the other half on top. So, y'all, that's all it is to it. Mm. Now, oh, boy, KK, we're going to put this now. Oh, well, that just has butter on it. All right. Okay. I'll fill all these and we'll be right back. That's good, it turned out perfect amount, just the perfect amount. So we'll scrape all this out, make sure we use it all. Okay, now we're gonna take the rest of our pecans here and just kind of sprinkle on the top. Oh, and y'all, KK, researched this and she found out it's kind of a Danish pastry and the tassy stands for cup. So just a little education there. That's just a bonus today. We won't charge you extra for that. That's right. We're not going to charge you extra for that. That's just one of those little Side thing. Okay, y'all, when I sprinkle the pecans on them, I got a little generous over here in some of them. So I had some extra ones. 
that where I had chopped these up, and I see this one right here needs a little bit. Huh? Oh, we all. Okay. So, our oven is on 325 degrees. We are going to put these in the oven. And y'all, I set them on that pan, I don't know, just to, just cause I wanted to. <laughs> now, they cook for 25 minutes. So we will set that on 25 minutes. And we'll be, when that magic sound comes, we'll be right back. Okay, the magic sound. All right, y'all. Ooh, KK, these look good. Mm, they smell good. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna sit those up there. Now, y'all, you can't take them right out. <laughs> you have to let these things cool and kind of set, I guess you would say. So, we're just going to let them cool for a while. Y'all, don't they look beautiful? Oh, and they'll be so pretty on a tray. And so easy to serve. People just walk by and just pick one up. No slicing, no aggravation, nothing. You know, so. I want to show y'all one thing. Look at my turkey. My sister-in-law gave this to me years ago. She knows how I love seasonal jewelry. And so, of course, I just get to wear this just for a short period of time because between Halloween and Thanksgiving, it's not much time. So I have my turkey on today. So we'll be having turkey in, in all kinds of forms. Our families go fry our turkey. We usually fry it every year. Ever since we started frying it, oh my goodness, it's become a tradition. So we don't use the oven for that. We use it for a multitude of other things, but uh, we'll be frying the turkey for Thanksgiving. So y'all are gonna let these cool and then we'll be back after a while and we'll take them up and put them on a tray. Okay, y'all, I decided while I already had everything out, I was gonna go ahead and just make another recipe of these. So I took these up as soon as they were cool and that right there, we're going to put one more on it, and that will be 21 on there. So the recipe makes 24, so three didn't make it, y'all. <laughs> well, I went to see somebody, actually, and I took them to them. So I wanted to show you, though, when you, um, once you have, once these are cooled, y'all, when they cook, sometimes they run over. And so that kind of sticks to your pan. So all you got to do is just take, just take the thinnest knife you have and just run it around and loosen it up from the edges of that, um, of the pan. Now y'all, <laughs> these things are so good and they're very addictive. And so, other than taking them to a friend, I also had to sample them myself. So <laughs> they certainly are good. I just want to say, I hope you have a good rest of the week. Y'all, we have so much to be thankful for. And you, my viewers, are on my list of people that I'm thankful for this year. Y'all, I just love y'all. And just thank you for watching and thank you for your comments. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. Just uh, enjoy being together. Family is so important. And everybody, shine for Jesus.